Hello everyone and welcome to the channel or welcome back. So this is part three of updating my baseball card albums from the 1990s. So I'm going to put the link to part two here. Um, so I just kind of finished up with this album for the most part. I took out a lot of the pages. You can see here's some of the, of the older pages. A lot of them were kind of not really are easy to see through. Um, they got, have kind of gotten cloudy over the past 20, 30 years. So I changed these out with a lot of newer pages, which makes a huge difference in just being able to kind of kind of see and enjoy the cards. Uh, took out a lot of players. This album was pretty thick. With the old pages, it was probably about this thick after I took everything out. And then with adding new pages, kind of fluffed things up a little bit. So um, big difference between last time and this time with the album. So um, this is kind of the update on that last album. Like I said, real, real happy with it now. And now let's take a look at my third album. All right, so this album is the CLs through the GOs. So let's take a look at what is in here. So we got, oh, Will the Thrill Clark starting us off. I think I probably had quite a bit of him. Like I said, I'm gonna probably take out almost all of these cards. He was a great player in the late 80s. Not really worth keeping all of them in here though. I'll keep one or two. I got a bunch of Will Clarks. And back-to-back -back pages, of course. I love these little Fleer sets. They're kind of like mini sets back in those late 80s there. And more Will Clark. And here we go. Roger Clemens. Uh, he was one of my favorites back in, during that time and era. The whole steroid um, drama really put a cloud on his career which I hate because I was a huge fan of Clemens. I will definitely keep all these cards in this album though. I don't think he will end up making the Hall of Fame, but he was an incredible pitcher during that time. More Clemens, those coins. I had posted a video about ugliest cards. A lot of people mentioned the yellow Fleer I admit, they're not the greatest. Probably would be in my top five ugliest cards. I still think the 83 Fleer are worse. More Clemens. And more Clemens. More Clemens here. More. We're getting into his Yankee days now. Some older stuff. There's some more of those limited, or not those early sets oh, for some reason I saved a pack with him on it uh, some Clemente cards that probably aren't worth more than 20 cents same with the Ty Cobbs there oh Vince Coleman um I, he was that he had like what 130 stolen bases and I think in one season I mean he flew on the base pass the 87 top I love that card of his obviously I'll take all these out Bartolo Colon, is he, I mean, is he still pitching? He'd be like 50 years old pitching right now, wouldn't he? We got David Cohn, who was a great pitcher at that time. I'll probably pull all those out. Oh, Bobby Cox. <laughs> I love seeing what I've always put in here. Some newer stuff, Carlos Correa. Who do we got there? Oh, Johnny Damon, yes. Ah, Eric Davis. Man, he would have had a great career. Wasn't for so many injuries. He was a really good baseball player. I love these starting lineup cards too, by the way. Finding them in decent condition is tough. Most kids pulled those uh, the stadium club figures out. Probably didn't care a whole lot about the cards at those times. Andre Dawson, the Hawk. Yeah, I will probably keep these in here. Carlos Delgado, another one. You can see I'm be pulling a lot of cards out of this album. Dennis Eckersley. Oh, is it Jim Edmonds? Yes, another really, really good player there. But don't need to keep him in the album. Darren Erstad. 
think he played football at Nebraska. <laughs> Pop Feller, why, why did he even put that in there? Tony Fernandez, great shortstop for the Blue Jays. Raleigh Fingers, look at that mustache. How cool is this dude? Probably pulled most of these out. Carlton Fisk. We're at the tail end of his career there. Oh, we got George Foster. Brad Fulmer. I guess he must have been a prospect at the time. Oh, now we're getting into the big cat, Andres Galarraga. Really good player for the Expos. Oh, we got a big card of his here. Nice. Ron Gant. He's another one. He had a really probably good four or five year stretch, if I'm not mistaken, for the Braves. Especially in their heyday when they were going to those World Series or of the World Series. Really, really good baseball player. What do we got here? Oh, Nomar. I was kind of stopped collecting right when his career was taken off. <laughs> Jason Giambi in the USA jersey. Some Kurt Gibson. I love these cards from the Fleer, too. Joe Girardi. Tom Glavin. Probably won't end up keeping any of these in here. Not a Tom Glavin collector by any means. Paul Goldschmidt. Ha, ah, Juan Gon. Juan Gonzalez. Talk about home run hitter. And his cards are not worth anything. Yeah, I mentioned these big ones, the big cards here in my last video. And I just, don't, I just don't know what to do with them. I know I looked up prices of a few of them, and they were a couple bucks, but it's like, and I think they're still in fairly decent condition. But to uh, send them off to what, or Com C, or if I tried putting it up on eBay, like to get this delivered without getting all bent up and stuff, I just, I don't know if it's really worth trying to sell. And White Gooden. Talk about a great pitcher. And in his case, it wasn't steroids, it was just straight up drugs. That really messed with his career. Look at that 88 Don Russ and didn't hold good in there. And I think that is about it. So a lot of these cards will get pulled out of here. My plan is to use this album to replace my other one I just showed you. This one's in way better condition. I'll probably end up taking out almost all of these. It really isn't besides Clemens, maybe a few other players. Probably gonna end up taking out most of these cards. I'll put most of these in my common box, most likely to hopefully get them away. Might be able to sell one or two. That is the plan for um, this album here. I'll be posting another video soon of what this all end up looking like and moving on to the next album. Cause right now we are on CL to GO. So hope everyone's doing good. And until next time, YouTube, be good.